Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today I'm going to go over how to update the firmware in your Starlink radio. First, when we use Quick Loader for Windows, we need to set it up to be able to communicate to Starlink radios. You may have done this if you're doing panel uploads and downloads. But we would go to File, Dealer Settings, click on Starlink Defaults, and this is where you would enter in your Starlink ID and password. Next, we would need to go to the Napco Technical Library in the Napco software and firmware download section. We can filter it by Starlink Wireless Communications and then we would see all the available firmware files for Starlink. Now each Starlink radio has a different firmware based on the type of radio and the carrier so make sure you check on the NOC what firmware is in the radio so you can download the correct version. And of always if you're unsure please contact us here at Napco Tech Support. So we would download the file and save it to our desktop into a folder. Going back to Quick Loader, we would open up an account. We would click on Tools, Radio Firmware Download, pick Remote, and it will load up the firmware section of the account. Every radio has at least one firmware file. We call that Micro One. <clears throat> you would click on Browse, and find the file that you downloaded and select that and it will load into the micro one section. We would check off the box of the file we want to download. Always make sure you leave it on smart download when updating the firmware on your radio unless directed to, to do a full download by a Napco support technician. And then we would click on the download button and that would initiate the firmware download. If we have a Starlink Connect radio, we would check this box because it we may be using a Micro 2 file, which is exclusive to Connect radios. If you ever needed to update that for a Honeywell or DSC panel, and we would do that by the same method, browsing and picking the correct file, checking off the box we need to download, and doing a smart download. Also, something else exclusive to Starlink Connect radios, we can update the firmware over the NOC. So we would go on to the NAPGONOC2.com, load up our account, and go to the Starlink Connect section in the panel <clears throat> section. As you can see here, we have the ability to update Micro 1 for all radios and a Micro 2 file if you're using a DSC or Honeywell panel. And again, leave the Smart Download box checked unless directed to by a NAPCO support technician. Now, just to review, we went over how to update your Starlink Connect radios and Starlink radios using Quick Loader and Starlink Connect radios using the NAPCONOC2.com. And as always, for more information, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.